Welcome to Psych IRL, my name is Donna. Welcome to Psych IRL, my name is Donna. People aren't good at keeping niches because they're people. You have to stick with a niche. That looks dangerous, don't touch that. I'm also taking Instagram photos. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, please follow me on Instagram. I'm kind of desperate. As Psych you know, IRL is one of my favorite creators. Her content is basically a channel that makes video essays explaining internet culture using psychology. Today we're going to be talking about why I think Shane Dawson is one of the greatest YouTubers of all time. She's sarcastic and sort of parodies the current state of YouTube in a lighthearted way. His format makes the viewer feel like they're hanging out with a friend. On the surface, this doesn't seem like it would be enough to warrant the number of subscribers he has. One thing I admire is her editing style. She has a lot of camera switches and is someone who is great at grabbing your attention early on in her videos to make you want to stick around. Another one of her standout features is that she seems easy to relate to in her videos. She's a big YouTuber, but you also feel like she's a big fan of other creators, and she shares the same opinions that we might have over what we see on their websites. How, how are we gonna say hi? I don't know! <laughs> in other words, she's awesome. Hello, welcome to Magnus. My name's Magnus. I wanted to talk about audio, because we talk about a lot about cameras in this channel and I wanted to actually progress into the importance of video and then how audio plays a part in that. So when speaking about equipment, she seems to use the following gear. Canon 70D with an 18 to 55 millimeter kit lens, according to her description. A small shotgun mic, which is sometimes attached to the top of her camera or other times located near her mounted on a Joby tripod. This shotgun mic also resembles a Rode Video Mic Pro, but upon closer inspection, I don't think that's what it is. She mentions that she uses a lav mic for this video, but based on the sound and the location of the microphone in the video, I can be skeptical. So on with the story. There I was, arriving home from work. I had received notification earlier that day that Psych IRL posted a new video, so I wanted to check it out. And it was fine. I rather enjoyed the video as I usually do. The controversy, though, arose from the comments in the video. It wasn't the comments that responded to what she was talking about in the video that caught my eye. It was the comments from people complaining about her audio quality. My first reaction was like, what are they talking about? It's fine. But then I sat down and watched it again, and oh, now I get it. I tweeted Donna and told her I wanted to tackle the subject in a video, and she replied pretty quickly. Awesome. I downloaded her video and put it in Adobe Premiere, and almost immediately you can see what everyone was talking about. There were low spots on her audio. These low spots were located in the sections of the video where she was watching videos created by other YouTubers. Now it's obvious what she did. She recorded the audio from those clips with her mic and did not use the audio from the original source. I would guess that this was purposely done. If you see the way she edited the video, she included the actual clips in her video, so she must have had the audio. So why do this? Well honestly, I believe that she intentionally muted those tracks to possibly avoid copyright claims on her channel which is obvious. She wouldn't want to get flagged for any reason, and in many occasions, the YouTube algorithm will flag you first and ask questions later. No fair use programming there. So what would her content have sounded like if the audio was there? Well, here's a preview. I'll make quick audio adjustments here. Now, when it comes to the audio, it's important to watch your levels and keep the audio balance. Nothing in your audio should hit the red levels, but at the same time, be so low that it's unbalanced when compared to your other audio. So I tend to even it out between minus 12 and minus 6 dB. If it goes a bit above that, it's okay, as long as it doesn't red level. Now that I've added the track and made adjustments for when she speaks, let's listen to what it sounded like before the adjustment. Tell me how your day was, but I don't really care. And if you 
This isn't funny, this is very misogynistic. I don't care about context. Tell them they are fat. Body shaming. Abusive too, how dare you! I am so mad, I'm not even gonna finish this song. And now what it sounded like after the adjustment. I'll never open the door. You can tell me how your day was, but I don't really care And if you ever get cold, you'll just have to hack it Cause I'd be cold too if I gave you my jacket Like, whoa, whoa, you ain't sitting up front This isn't funny, this is very misogynistic I don't care about context yeah, you want me to. Tell them they are fat Body shaming. Abusive too, how dare you! I am so mad, I'm not even gonna finish this song Sound better? Now when it comes to audio when filming, it can be the difference as to whether your footage feels amateur. You can make my day if you subscribe today. This is Magnus and I'm out. And then, then pretty much that's it. Or pro. You can make my day if you subscribe today. This is Magnus and I'm out. See you guys later. Now I'm sure that Donna knows what she's doing and has a reason as to why she does it. Because story and content is more important than gear and her content is definitely worth subscribing to. Now let's hope she can avoid any audio difficulties in the future. Struggle to remember, so Shane Dawson, Jax Films, Emma Chamberlain, Joanna Cedia, and then- If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. I'd like to give a special thank you to Donna and Psych IRL. She's an amazing creator and you should definitely subscribe to her channel. Her content really makes you think and her editing skills are amazing. And as always, like, share, and you can make my day if you subscribe today. This is Magnus, and I'm out.